All right, now that we have our movies showing up in the page, we need to update our component because we want it to look like this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do will be to get the data and the next thing we'll do will be to just um, do the CSS. So the first thing is inspect what kind of information we are getting, all right, from the movie database. To do this, we are going to console log what kind of movie are we getting, all right, movie. And then we're going to, of course, return the component movie to see what's going on. Let's check it out. All right. So we are getting the ID. Before that, you know what? Let's, what do we need? We need the poster title, the genre, maybe some, maybe the rating, and a small description. And if we can, the actors. I don't think we can. Let's check it out. So title. Yes, it's here. Title long. Nah. Yeah, this one. Doesn't matter. Or the title in English. Yeah, Lord Rings, this one. Alright, so title, we're getting it. Title English. Good. Next thing, poster. Medium cover, large cover. Alright, good. We want medium. If we can't, it's better if we make it small. Even small would be good. Alright. Just testing something, I'm sorry. Okay, now, oh, we have generous, cool. This one, action, adventure of sci-fi, we have it here, action, action, adventure, drama, fantasy, and it's an array. It's not a huge thing. And let's see, what else do we need? Stars. 8.9, maybe we can do something with the rating. Hmm, we'll see. I don't think we can. Do I have time for this course? And this one, the description. Description full. And I believe we should have description small. Summary or synopsis. Yeah, synopsis or summary. Summary. So we have this one. We have the poster. We have the title. We have generous. We have the synopsis. Let's do it. We're going to update our movie one. So title, we're going to call this title English. So you're going to say movie title English. Awesome. Poster, we're going to take the small cover image. Poster, small cover image. Yes. Move key, movie ID. So we have our fucking Fox Safari. So we have our title. Yes. Poster. Yes. Generous. Let's do it. Where are you? Generous. Inside of movie. Sweet. And now, let's just format this bullshit a little bit. Fucking up a little bit. All right, lovely. So we have generous, and I think the only one we're missing is summary. And we're gonna call this sign up, sorry, synopsis, synopsis. Movie, synopsis. All right, so now we can update our props. Yeah. In our movie component, where are you baby? This one, movie, movie component. Movie, prop types, title, poster, yes, title and poster, yes. But generous, this is a prop types of array and it is required. And synopsis is a prop types of string and it is also required. Let's see. It loads, everything's wonderful. Ah, this is too fucking small, man. This is too small for us. I think we need something bigger than this shit. Uh, okay, medium cover image is better. Medium cover image is better because it's too small. Medium cover image of poster, lovely.
awesome all right sweet keep going let's keep going puckers so let's just put everything here poster movie poster you know what this is let's be serious right now and let's make this shit as good html because we're going to start doing that doing that uh all right so class name what class name class name is translated to class in normal html the problem is that if you don't do class name it's not going to understand it's going to think that class is something different so if you are doing jsx and you are working with class names like normal html classes you have to write class name and if you don't it's cool check this out if you do something stupid it's going to tell you react is going to tell you it's going to say hey man did you mean class name yes i did on purpose so class name and we're gonna stop doing this thing no more movie console all right class name movie so our movie is gonna have i think two columns one column will be this one two column will be one column will be the fucking hell one column will be this one two co second column will be this one so let's do it so the class name movie columns if you don't know what i'm making the class names like this you have to take a course that we have called cacao clone where we clone cacao talk the chat interface and the movie and the, the movie app the app we clone it and so you can learn why i'm doing the html and the class names like this because it's not normal i know this is just basic HTML people, so don't freak out. So one column, other column, and here we go. Title, yes. And here we're gonna we're gonna create the as a list. Nah, no, fuck that list. A div, fucking hell. I just don't like to make divs. A div with the class movie generous. And I'm gonna create a functional component. And I'm gonna say genre. And I'm gonna return a span with the class name of movie genre. Genre, what I'm doing here, you should know already, I'm just creating a new functional component and the gender is a prop types of a string and it is required awesome so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna take title and i'm gonna title poster generous and synopsis is missing from here Right, title, posters, genesis, and synopsis. Awesome. So I'm going to say generous map. And for every gender, gender, I don't know how to say that shit. Give me a movie gender component. Awesome. With the gender of the same thing with the key of index and it's not index is not here yet index baby and close yourself up all right and now we have a paragraph and i'm gonna call this paragraph for the class name of movie synopsis awesome and here synopsis if there's no problems loading and this is what we have baby source track redemption title yes action crime and drama and the synopsis and if we inspect this element we have movie yes movie columns yes the first one has a poster yes and i'm gonna add a poster to this shit class Opa. class name movie 
poster. You know what? I'm gonna give the poster one more prop, the alt for the image, all right? And I'm gonna give the po the poster the image alt of title, all right? I'm gonna write alt here, and I'm gonna go to movie poster, and I say that like, alt fucking alt. alt is a prop types of a string, and it is required. So for the image, instead of doing this, I say alt is alt, and also title is alt. If you don't know what this means, you shouldn't be in this course you should be on the cacao clone course that we have so now if i come here it's gonna go to movie api and it's gonna come back and if i step on it it's gonna say the show that redemption awesome all right and of course i see my movies there yes and i think we are good to go what else oh, a little bit of space between these things so space between the genres because the genres are not in they don't have a space like this all right but i can just do that with css all right let's see what's left so we have the cover yes title yes the generous yes and the synopsis all right so i guess we're done i'm gonna do a little bit of a recap here all i did was i added more props to the movie component, such as generous and synopsis. Before we only had poster and title. I added more props and I registered them here so I can check if they exist and if they're required. Then I just create some basic HTML markup with some class names. And remember the class, this HTML class, you have to write it like this on React. Then I give the first column the movie poster and I create a title. I map through the generous array. And I put the synopsis at the end. Oh, what else? I also create an alt prop inside of movie poster. So I can have a title of the image whenever my mouse goes in the image. And when I map on my generous, I create a new component called movie genre. And I do this with him. I just exp I just return a span with the class name. I could have just done this, to be honest. This is the same shit. I could have just done this, right? Key eh. index. Of course I could have, but it's more elegant this way. Make small components, keep everything separate, keep everything small. The smaller you make it, the better. All right, okay, that's it, we're almost done. Uh, all we have to do in the next one is just to put this on a very, very nice um, CSS presentation. So see you there.